butt connector. And that's what I need. I've got a 90 up there in that corner where the airline goes around that behind that beam in the corner. I had that thing in a bind and uh, it finally gave out on me, but it lasted 15 years. So what I've done, I'll show you what I've done here. I've already made my 90 up. That way I can fit it to how it needs to be fit. And go ahead and put this one on this side like I've got on that one. Then I can mark it up there where it needs to be cut. And I can saw it real quick and uh, put it back together. So I got that little project fixed. I've got air ran all over this shop. I've actually got it where it goes over the ceiling, comes down over here on this other side. And I've got air up there in that room up there too. That is my, uh, that's my reloading room where I reload bullets and ammunition. And I use it up there in that to blow the primer pockets out on the uh, out on the clean holes after I run them through a through a uh, a polisher, and it just makes it simple. I just hook an air hose up to blow on and blow them out. But that room up there is nothing but reloading stuff. I uh, I don't reload like I once did. There's a lot of stuff I don't do like I once did uh, because of uh, because of the YouTube, the videos, and and uh, doing all that stuff like that. And that's just part of it. And that's okay. I did have uh, when it got real cold here. Uh, I had a few mice get in there. I keep traps out all the time, but I had like I caught like three mice. So obviously the cold ran them. They tried to get in here in the warmer weather, and my traps got them. So that's a good thing. But I'm going to start. I started working on this thing a little bit yesterday, uh, or you know, a little bit. Just a little bit of time. It's one of those deals where it's just going to be a little bit at a time. Because I got to get ready to swap these lights out and get rid of this buzz that you hear from those ballasts. Those lights are the 400 watt metal halide. They came from Daybright up there at uh, Tupelo. Good lights. They've been in here now for uh, almost 16 years, and I've never done. I've never changed a bulb or anything on one of them yet. But it's time for something newer and better, and y'all gonna get to see all that when it when it takes place. Because I'm gonna I wanna really increase the I wanna kill the noise. And increase the light and power in here a lot. I hardly ever go in and out that walk-in door over there. <laughs> the hinges on this thing, holy smokes, look at them. I always just go in and out the big door right there is also. We're going to lube her up here a little bit. Get some oil in there. in a little bit here. Oh, that's a lot better. Let me spray it from the inside here too. Just some more of those things I was talking about I've neglected. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, it's the little things, people. It's the little things. I'm also going to squirt a little bit inside this knob here, too. So we're getting it off. Get something going in there. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. A lot better. Nah, freaking oil everywhere. But that'll be okay. Oh yes. Much, much better. Just cut the air on after I made my fix down there. 
and it held. You know, like it's supposed to. Now, you're not supposed to put air through PVC, but a lot of people do it, including me. Uh, as long as uh, you're careful turning it on, you don't cut it all on at one time. That's a that's a two-stage Puma, it's an 80-gallon tank on that compressor right there, so it goes up to 175 before it, before it cuts off. It'll run a, a one-inch impact, no problem whatsoever. I did, I was out here one day, and the I've got a 90 over there that connects on to another line right over there. That thing actually exploded while I was out here, and it blew the screws. I have these uh, these bands right here on the pipe where it holds on, where it comes down. It actually blew those, ripped them out of the wafer board there on that wall. So there's a lot of a lot of pressure right there. Luckily, I was out here when it happened. It scared the crap out of me because I'd sound like a shotgun went off in here when it when it blowed off. But it it didn't go across the across the shop because the hose hung it over there but uh like i said there's a lot of people who run air through pvc and that's only i just had that 90 split just cracked up i got a hairline cracking and that 90 over here actually exploded and that was probably a couple years after i done that so i'm gonna put y'all down for right now i'm gonna get busy I've got this one inch impact connected up. I'll let y'all listen to it. I've got a, uh, I've got a big hose on it that runs off a big connector over there. Well, when you do that, these things right here will get with the program. I just cut the air off before I unhook that thing because unhooking that thing is like taking your life in your own hands or something. I mean, it, it, it's got some, that hose, that big hose holds a lot of air. This is the one that exploded on me that day. It busted right there and it ripped this strap, this strap, and this strap, and this hose right here caught it going to this hose reel right here. But see, I got a big connector right there on it. We're gonna connect that big, big line up and get good flow through it. I've got a uh, bleed right here to, uh, if I ever need to let some, make sure there's no water in there. And I've got a drain on the tank and I've got one over on the other side. Hey, some people ask uh, why I got the compressor inside and, uh, and it, do, it does make noise when it comes on in here, but Without it being outside, I don't have to worry about the condensation in the tank with the being out there in the cold air. Plus, I'd have to build a housing around it or something to get it out of the weather. So, just easier for me because at one time I was doing a lot of painting and painting and water condensation don't mix. Even if you've got stuff in line stuff on, well, you don't want to get none of that on there. So, it's just simpler to put it down there I got the compressor sitting on these big thick uh, rubber pads the feet uh, are sitting on top of them big thick hunks of, of uh, conveyor belt and it just comes on and goes right off I don't even hardly notice it I notice it more if I'm filming down here than I do anything else finish this video up go over here and give my two puppies out mess with them a little bit y'all want to know what that is that's my shooting bench up under there I have a portable shooting bench so exactly 100 yards from right there to down there. I usually keep it in the shop, but uh, I've had some people been coming over, and then I've been using it too. That thing is spun around a little bit. I wonder how in the world it's getting moved. So we'll get the dogs out, let them run. And just like that, the battle is on, boys. No black mouth gets a little bit bigger. Tater ain't gonna have a chance. Hey, come on, come here, Turbo. Come on. Come on. Put the fake on him, Tater. Put the fake on him, boy. Come on, Turbo. Let's go. Look at Turbo. He's staying thin. I've warned him and everything. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. 
I've learned him, but I can't seem to get, get him to fill on out like I'd like for him to. Oh, black mouth. They don't play, man. They are, uh, those are some bad dogs right there. I put him right up there along the lines of a pit bull. But look at him, he is solid muscle. Come on, hey, hey, hey. I'll let him go like that, and then I'll, I'll get them on broke up. The tater will finally get tired of it, and he'll just run off and leave him. And he'll turn around and come back and mess with him a little bit. Now, Tater's getting him now. Look at him. Tater getting some, and then he'll run. <laughs> Oh, Tater, he's talented, though, man. That joker can pee and run at the same time. He's good. Wish I could do that. Talking about multitasking. That's bad to bone. Daggum garbage time again. Wonder if one of these days I'll ever be big enough to where somebody else can take my garbage down for me. <laughs> See you later, Tater. Bye. Bye. Say, say later, Tater. Say later, Tater. Later, Tater.